Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Subhash Chandran. In this video, I wanted to continue from my previous video because in my previous video, I was uh, talking about the Gulf opportunities, especially for piping engineers basically. And I mentioned there are uh, different opportunities, I mean different designations available for piping engineers to try, especially in Gulf countries. In uh, Gulf countries that I mean is UAE, uh, Qatar, uh, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi and Bahrain. So these are the countries where you will get an opportunity for piping engineers. So uh, for those who haven't watched my previous video, just uh, I request you to please watch it. And this video, I wanted to have a continuation of that video because and I felt that uh, there are few more informations that I still have to uh, speak about uh, for those who are trying for a Gulf opportunities, especially because this is a very important decision for someone like a piping engineers who uh, wanted to change their career uh, by uh, coming to Gulf countries. So the first question that I wanted to ad address is that there are uh, lots of freshers asking me uh, whether being a fresher, is it right to go to Gulf or uh, whether if I go being a fresher, uh, will I be able to make good career or not? So my uh, honest recommendation for all the freshers, those who are especially in mechanical industries and who are trying to find jobs in piping. So my honest recommendation is that do not go to Gulf countries being a fresher unless you don't get a good opportunities. If you get a good opportunity, good opportunity in the sense uh, you need to have a job offer letter from a reputed organization. Unless you don't have this, please do not go to Gulf countries because being a fresher, it is really hard for you to shape up your career in a Gulf country. Let me tell you why it is. You are just a fresher, so you do not have any specific, uh, I mean, technical background. So uh, the companies will uh, try to put you in different areas where you may not be interested. So that is one of the reasons why I am strongly recommending because Gulf is uh, a place where uh, you have to spend some money to uh, for traveling and you have to spend some money to settle down in Gulf actually. So suddenly the back and forth, like it's not like you can simply go to Gulf and come back. So you will incur some loss if you are going to coming back from Gulf countries uh, sh in a short period um, uh, for not liking a job or for uh, some any difficulties that you are going to face it in the Gulf being a fresher. But having certain experience, it could be 5 years, 10 years or whatever be it, I would recommend minimum 5 years of experience for all the freshers because uh, in 5 years experience, you will be able to learn certain things and you will be able to shape up your knowledge and you will be able to make out to specific industries. Say for an example, you are trying to become a piping design engineer, you will be able to learn uh, the, the piping softwares and the work methodologies and the design guidelines in a piping design field so that you can try such a specific industries and specific companies in order to get a job. Being a fresher, if you try it actually, uh, as I said, if you get a good offer from a reputed company, then it's perfectly fine to go for freshers. But being a fresher, do not go to comp unknown companies where you don't find a specific designation that suits you. Initially, they may guarantee you, uh, I mean, they may guarantee for uh, a good positions, but uh, when you get into the company, the situation changes. But I strongly believe that freshers can make a good career in Gulf countries, provided they have to have a good offer letter from good companies. Otherwise, do not go. The recommendation is that you have to have a five years of minimum experience and within this five years of experience try to learn a specific things try to improve your technical knowledge before going to the gulf countries only then you will be able to get into a decent jobs with good salary because according to my experience i have seen people with a strong technical background even at 10 years they came to gulf and after 10 years they have been able to uh, get into the uh, wonderful jobs with the salary that nobody can uh, think even actually. So what I recommend is that if you are trying to become, if you wanted to grow your career in Gulf countries, you have to have a minimum experience of five years in any industry uh, for especially for piping, try to gain the piping knowledge and then come to Gulf so that you will get into a wonderful salary package and wonderful company. Your career growth will be guaranteed actually. And this is the one thing that I wanted to address because lots of freshers are asking whether they can go to Gulf in order to make their career. So please listen to this uh, uh, suggestion very carefully once again so that you will be able to understand what I am trying to insist basically. 
and the second thing is about the salary i wanted to make it little more clear because i felt that i uh, should have added little more information about the salary in my previous video so especially about the salary please do not believe the data that are available in internet because the data that are available in internet are based on random factors but especially when it comes to piping fee let me tell you that the client company pays in a different manner that you may not be able to find in the uh, google actually and the uh, large cap in the engineering companies that they pay you in a different manner and medium scale companies they pay you in a different manner and small scale companies they pay you in a different manner for example a uh, 10 years experienced piping design engineer in a large scale engineering company can get a maximum of 3 lakhs per month so this is the maximum for 10 years experienced piping design engineer and down the line you can just check the medium scale company in medium scale company uh, for the 10 years he may get somewhere around 2 lakhs in small scale company it will be lesser than 2 lakhs so this is how it is actually but for client companies the salary will be much higher once again the salary of the client that depends upon who, what client it is and what kind of business they are into it actually but if you take an example of large engineering companies large engineering companies i mean the companies which have a strong hold internationally uh, do not focus the companies which only have a strong hold in the gulf countries you have to choose a company which has a strong hold in international countries and as well as in the gulf countries i am only talking about uh, these companies for example technic and petrofac and uh, i can i even i can even say wally parson actually so these companies pay you a decent salary i will not say they pay you a much higher salary or a much lower salary but they pay a genuine packages compared to any other uh, the medium scale or small scale companies this is one of the doubt that i wanted to clarify about the salary and the third important doubt that i wanted to speak about is is it good to go to gulf in order to make a career so i told this about in my previous video i still wanted to give you a little more information about it especially in gulf the situation has completely changed than before 15 years or 5 years ago especially after corona the opportunities are completely changed right now the uh, i mean the gulf nationals they are lots of people are uh, jobless so the governments are trying to push them into the job in order to push them into the job they have to take out the expats so what i would suggest is that if you are not planning for a long term career then you can step into gulf countries because gulf country is a place where you can make quick money for a short time because here the issue is that you cannot uh, i mean you may not know how long that you are going to stay here because your position will be available only uh when you uh, i mean uh, when you cannot be replaced with some uh, local nationals if you are able to replace with any local nationals your positions are gone so basically do not plan for a long term uh, uh, career planning in gulf actually if you are planning for a long term career plan so what may happen is that you may have to go back to india and you have you may have to stay uh, out there uh, jobless for a couple of months or six months because here the works are executed based on projects you will be taken to one project and once the projects are done and you will be sent back to india so within this time you must be able to switch over to a different job and you must be able to uh, uh, manage your financial needs and you must be able to uh, develop your knowledge in such a way that uh, you will be able to go to the next job so it's a challenging uh, situation right so that is what i'm saying if you are highly experienced and working in india in a reputed company i would strongly recommend you to continue the same because coming to gulf and for making a quick money uh, it may happen anything if you are truly confident that you will be able to make out to a different job even in case of any uh, job crisis then then that is perfectly fine but for those who have a fear of losing a job i would recommend not to come to gulf because if you are uh comfortable in your permanent job in india please continue it because india is a good place to uh continue your job and you can make out a career and you can plan a longer term plan actually i am not saying that in gulf you cannot make a longer term plan the situation is so volatile that you must be able to change yourself adapt to the situation adapt to the requirements adapt to this uh, project changes actually it happens it is so natural that 
you will the company will end up having some projects and you will be sent back to india so you must uh, have the ability to uh, prepare yourself and then uh, step on to the another another job so within this period what may happen is that you may not be able to manage your financial needs you may not be able to support your families especially if you are with a family in gulf then it is really hard for you to shift from one location to other location because a lot of things are connected if you are staying with families basically but for bachelors it is so easy for you to stay in gulf and make some quick money and if whenever you get a break and you can go back to india develop yourself and go to another place with a better salary package this is my advice so these are the three things that i wanted to clarify specifically in this video the first thing is that freshers do not come to gulf if you do not have an experience try to stay in india at least for 5 years gain some knowledge make your technical background strong and then come to gulf so that you will be able to get into right job actually and the second is that about the salary the salary structures are completely different than the numbers that you are seeing in the internet and the third is that please make out a decision if you are planning for a long term career plan please check all the factors that are connected in gulf basically because in india is a place where you can make a consistent growth uh, your salary will be less but still you, your progress will be uh, consistent but uh, in gulf what may happen is that you may get a good package you may get a good job but there will be some disturbance you must be able to handle this disturbance if you are able to handle this disturbance then gulf countries are a best countries because especially in gulf the taxes are so less so that you will be able to save more money so this one point that i don't want to miss it actually so if you are interested in making out your career in gulf please watch this video continuously without skipping each and every information will add value to your profession and your career i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra